All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakal Kodash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother for Yahweh, the GMS Hawaii, coming to see you with another quick lesson. And uh, I was watching Elder um, Manatha Zakba video, GMS South Carolina. 08 and um man i got maybe like <laughs> not even like a minute into the video and the title of his video is uh, many of these hebrew israelites are not born again okay and they're you know that's the spirit i was thinking in this scripture right here and um it had slipped my mind but the spirit just brought it back the book of uh second address chapter 16 verse 70 you know um it says a lot and I just want to read that real quick, and then I'll get to the uh, the pre to the video, a little bit of the video I'll play. But it says, uh, this is uh, Second Edward chapter sixteen, verse seventy. All right, it says, "For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord." Okay, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Not everybody with an Israelite garb garment on. Not everybody with a so-called Israelite look. You, know, you got the beard, you, know, you got the fringes on. Not everybody that has that is chosen. You know, you got a lot of Israelites that are still asleep. They claiming to be woke. They're, you know, they're feigning to be woke, okay, but they're not fully connected into this truth, all right? You got a lot of Israelite groups. I don't know who this Israelite group is. At first, I thought it was like Sakari or something like that, but you got a lot of just Israelite niggas. I'm going to just keep it 100. You got Israelites with a nigga mindset, okay? They still, and what is a nigga mindset? Well, you're in the world. The things of the world you do, the things of the world you accept. Okay, you just do the things of the world with an Israelite spin on it. It's no different than a, a Israelite Christian, you know, with that you, you got that Israelite flavor, but you really pushing that Christian spirit. And you got a lot of Israelite groups doing that. Okay, but when all hell breaks loose and things go go, go left real quick, you're going to see who the Lord's chosen are, because the Lord's chosen are are not going to be in the mindset of mirth and in the mind, mindset of mirth, the mindset of you know, trying to be a part of this world and still trying to be, you know, uh, an Israelite in the truth. Okay. The Lord told us to what? Uh, uh, um, to separate from this world. He took us out of the world. But Jake, they, these niggas are still in the world. Like you, you could walk by these people and you would still, hey, these is a bunch of niggas, man. You know? And uh, this is not, the, this is not the, the time for that. The times that we coming in, that we are in, are very serious, very serious time. This is the year of the hopeful year in which we pray and hope that Yahweh Bashim al is going to bring all his prophecies uh, to fruition. And it's only a few major, uh, major prophecies concerning the end of this world left. And so we shouldn't be in a mindset of, of niggas like this. Time is now. We really raising a whole new generation. We keep it holy days. That may not mean nothing to you right now. It's almost real soon. Doing what the Bible says. It's gonna have you winning at the end of the day. This world is about to be destroyed, and we righteously turn. But but this dude ain't doing what the Bible says, and you're gonna see. He who has ears, let him hear. I'm about to get some good to feel. Y'all Niggas over at Crip walking, man. They didn't. They didn't leave the. They didn't leave the old man. Neither did that dude with them dark ass sunglasses on in a fucking dark club. You know, you could tell it's spiritual that this nigga had these glasses on because this nigga is still asleep. This is uh, this is the book of Romans, uh, eleven verse seven. Romans eleven, Romans eleven, and seven. Um, just go to Romans. Okay, here it is. Romans eleven 
verse 7. And Jacob had listened to this video. I'm like, oh, y'all just some killjoys. Oh, y'all don't want Jacob having no fun. Like, listen, man, it's a time and place for all of these things. But this ain't it. All right? And then, you know, why you got to... Why you gotta why you gotta film it? Why you gotta record it? You know, why you gotta put yourself out there? The scripture says you're supposed to abstain from all signs of evil, man. You know? Just as anyway, this is Romans eleven and seven. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the heavenly father have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And this dude is blind, man. Okay? This dude is, he's blind. If he knew what time, you know, because, like, you walk up in the, the cops raid this spot that these people are in, they're not going to say, oh, this guy's an Israelite. Let's put him to the side. He's cool. He's doing right. Nah, man. He's going to get carted away right wrong with the rest of them niggas and niggas in that same mindset, man. You know, that, that reveling spirit. You know, that, that drunken spirit. Talking about he's going to, He's celebrating the Lord's feast day. He's going to go get some good tequila, which not saying tequila is wicked, but come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? This dude, and he's supposed to be a prophet of the Lord, this guy. He's supposed to be an Israelite that's woke. No, this dude is blinded with these dark ass sunglasses on in his dark ass fucking building, you know, you know, out here just being a nigga, man. Yeah, so if if the world's about to be destroyed, should you be in a mindset of uh, uh, righteously turning up? And and this ain't righteously turning up. Like you 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 celebrating this place? But, hey, the scripture says we ought to be in uh what what uh let me see. This is um Yeah, this is uh yeah, it's definitely not uh, sloppy. Uh, second Peter's second Peter three and eleven. It says, seeing then that all these matter of fact, I'll just start at ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And you know, th this guy's not in the mindset of looking for the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Man. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, you having your times or moments or, you know, merge with brothers and stuff like that. We don't put that stuff on video. That ain't to be shown to the world. And we definitely ain't in a mix in places like this where, you know, uh, hey, you, don't, you ain't no telling who is who, you know, and all kinds of spirits and shit is up in there. Nah, bro. Anyway, it's Second Peter 3 and 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, because the nuclear missile is going to be exploding crazy, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat from that nuclear fire. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Yeah, including America. You know? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? Um, let's look at that in the NLT. We're going to break some of them words down. All right. Okay. Uh, it says, since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this, what holy and godly lives should we live, man? And this ain't, this ain't a sign of that. You know, look at these niggas. Yeah, these niggas is crip walking and shit. These niggas, hey, this nigga ain't killed the old man or nothing. He just got a nigga with fringes on, man. Uh, and, and then he fringes on a fucking t-shirt, an undergarment. These are just niggas, man. It's a lot of niggas in Israel, man. A lot. A lot of a lot of wayward, unscrupulous individuals, man. Like the, like the elder said, many of these Hebrew Israelites are not born again. You have to be born again. All right. So since we know that this world is going to be destroyed, everything's going to be dissolved, what it says uh, shall be destroyed like this, what holy and godly lives, lucky, what holy and godly lives should, should you, should, godly lives you should live. All right? All right? And then, so let's look at uh, some of these words. Uh, um, dissolve, uh, godliness. I want to go to godliness. To that term for godliness. 
Because you wouldn't see Paul or the apostles up in no goddamn club with no nightshades on. <laughs> talking about they going to get some good tequila and, and celebrate the feast of the Lord, man. Come on, bro. Uh, 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 godliness it goes to the Greek word. Uh, Strong's G, 2150. You say by us. You say by us. You say by us reverence, respect. Pi piety towards the Heavenly Father, godliness, piety, especially the gospel scheme, uh, uh, go godliness and holiness, man. And again, you get caught up in a location like this, anything can happen. Hey, you think that if there was some crip niggas up in there, some blood niggas up in this party, blood walking and crip walking, that there would be a separation between them and this guy? You know, you think it would be a separation between them and this guy? No, man, he's he trying to throw up gang signs, man. And he's just because you got a Jerusalem shirt on and a and a hat, you know what I'm saying? It don't make you a man of the Lord, man. You just a you just a, a nigga that know you're an Israelite, man. Bunch of women up in here partying, and you know what go down in these clubs? A bunch of adultery and wickedness going on, drunkenness, you know, riotousness. A lot of that shit, man. But this is what Jake wants. This is the type of spirit that Jake want. While shit is getting real, niggas is partying. So let's keep on playing some of it because the elder goes show. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas is always partying. Niggas is always dancing. While, e while niggas is dancing, while niggas is dancing, this is what he's doing. Look, oh. Esau getting ready. Racket. Jump it. Magazine. Drop it. Racket. Jump it. Magazine. Yeah, man. See, here it is. Esau getting ready for the war that's in, in, in front. We are doing the same thing, but we're doing it spiritually. While, they, while Esau is doing it carnally, we're getting prepared for the evil times that we're living in, bro. It's just, it's just become perilous times, man. Perilous times that we living in, bro. When it's peril, it ain't no time to be playing no games, bro. It ain't no time to be dancing and, 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 and mirth. Jake don't know what time it is, man. All right? Jake do not know what time it is, man. I'm going to get that perilous times, man. Uh, this is Second Timothy three and one. Second Timothy three and one. <clears throat> and again, Jake will see a video like this and get mad. I'm like, oh, but you don't want to sell this. Listen, nigga, we've been had enough fun, man. But the the time for fun is over, man. Shit is getting real, man. Shit has been real. You know what I'm saying? Jake in the mindset of playing games. Listen, look at Esau, man. He ready. You know what I'm saying? They getting ready, man. They 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 falling into their blessing, but Jake don't want to be in the, in their blessing, which is this truth of Yahweh Bashan al Shai. Again, this is uh Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right, let's look up that term for perilous. Perilous times. The Hebrew, I mean, the Greek word there is uh kalepos, kalepos, and it says hard to do. Hard, uh, hard to take, hard to approach, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce. Do these the Jakes that was in there dancing? Where's that? These while while Jake dancing and having a good time, crip walking and, and crip talking and crip walking. You know, Esau is getting ready, man. These are the people that's ready for a battle that's coming to them. These niggas right here, they just look like they. They ain't ready for shit. A shootout, some real shit go down. These they not gonna be ready. They're not gonna be prepared. Cause Jake love the bullshit. Jake love the party and fucking bullshit, man. And you don't want to take the time to understand that. Like, look, man, it's a time for all of that. This ain't the time, man. We in perilous times. Man. I don't get. I don't care if you call yourself celebrating a high holy day, okay, <laughs> with your hats on and your sunglasses. These are just niggas, man. 
It's these these guys are no different than the two the other two third niggas that's in the world doing this. And again, while niggas is partying and bullshitting, Esau getting ready. Okay, our enemies are getting ready to roll on Jake. Again, it's hard times coming. Fierce, savage, man. You know what I'm saying? Savage times is coming out here. Uh, Jake like to say they're savages. Oh, I'm a savage. No, nah, man. You ain't you uh, you ain't ready. You ain't prepared for the savage times that we're coming in, man. That we're coming into. All right. What is this? Um, um all right. And Jake ain't ready. This is um uh, uh Ecclesiastes seven and two. It says it is better to go to the house of mourning than go to the house of a house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart, man. All right? And we're in the house of mourning right now. We're mourning for the oppression that we're in. We're mourning for the condition that we're in. We're mourning because we want to be free, and we're not free down here. It says, NLT says, better to spend your time at funerals than at parties. After all, everyone dies. So the living should take this to heart. Exactly. And you don't want to be a Jake that died in your sin, man. And these Jakes, they're going to die in their sins. At least they repent, man. Because you got to know what time you in. Look, niggas got a crazy-ass hair. It was like a half a mohawk or some shit. Jake, these are a bunch of niggas, man. Niggas that just, niggas with fringes, man. That's all that is, man. While you dancing, you ain't prepared for what's going down, man. With the, the, niggas got the Soul Train line, the gang talk going on. You know? And Jake don't like this kind of rebuke. But listen, man, you ain't a people that's ready for a battle. Look at this nigga, man. Look at this nigga, man. Hey, Jake. Jake ain't ready for what's coming, man. The elect are, are getting ready for what's coming, but the rest of the vast majority of Jake, even you Jakes that claim that you in the truth, you know the truth, you know what I'm saying? You ain't ready, man. You ain't in a you ain't in a ward like mindset. Mindset. You're not you're not preparing for the battle. All right, so let me go back to this. Where was I at? Uh Ecclesiastes. Um seven and two again in the nlt better better to spend your time at funerals than at parties after all everyone dies so the living should take it take this to heart you know what i'm saying it says it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting uh for death is the destiny of everyone the living should take this to heart right and again we don't want to die in our sins man i i, I can't even remember the last time i've been in a, a, a party atmosphere because I'm not in a party mindset. You know what I'm saying? My mind is, is, is geared on getting the fuck up out of here. You know, I'm constantly vexed, constantly catching hell, going through things. But that's, those things are to what make me better as a, a soldier of Yahweh Bashan Shai. Let's get that real quick. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's Second Timothy chapter 2. Yep. It says Second uh, Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. No man that wareth entangle himself with the affairs of this of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, man. And again, Jake ain't prepared for the battle. And it's evident. Uh, the NLT says soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life. That's right. For then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. It says no one serving as a soldier gets entangled with civilian affairs, but rather tries to please the commanding officer. And our commanding officer is Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah. Okay? And this is civilian life. These dudes, they acting like civilians, while Esau <laughs> is in that soldier mindset, man. He's he gonna blast the shit out you. And not only him, his fucking three-year-old son, man. You know what I mean? Getting ready. And you see, he, and the scriptures teach us about what teaching our sons the use of the boat. The scriptures speak about that, but Jake ain't doing that. You know? Esau got Jake so damn oppressed and so such as a low state. Jake think that they just need to party all the goddamn time. You just need to feel good all the time. And that's not it, man. Uncomfortableness makes you uh, um, uh, um, hardened, man. Being uncomfortable makes you look at life serious, man. Being uncomfortable makes you uh um see the reality of things man but when you're in a mindset of comfort and complacency it's going to destroy you man 
hey, this dude's in the house with his shoes off, you know what I mean? Teaching his young man, young son, how to handle how to handle his sword, man. So you think a wild nigga kicking the door? Hey, that little you, you think you getting shot down by pops? It's it's little Timmy over here, man. And his little nigga know how to reload and unload, drop the clip, put another one up in there, man. You, you see? Cause Jake ain't ready, man. Uh, it's, uh, verse three says, "Sorrow, Ecclesiastes seven and three. Sorrow is better than laughter." For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Exactly. Exactly. And we're constantly in this mindset. Sorrow is better than laughter. For sadness, it has a refining influence on us. Exactly. I just said that. I literally just said that in other words, but I said that through the spirit. When you're sad, when you're catching hell, man, it's, it has a refining influence on you, man. It says frustration is better than laughter. Because a sad face is good for the heart. Yeah, man, because you realize what's serious, man, and what's not. You see? This is uh, St. Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Exactly. Okay? Many will say, it says, verse 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils? And thy name have done many, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then will I pr profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me that work iniquity, man. And you got a lot of jakes, okay, that's in this mindset, this, this not born again mindset, man. You know? A lot of jakes, a lot of jakes, just, you just, you just niggas with, with fringes on, man. You just niggas that know you Israelites, man. That's why the Lord said this in Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word of the heavenly father have not have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Man, just because you are Israelite don't mean that you are Israelite of the most high, man. Of Yahweh Shemel Shai. You just an Israelite in the world. You're two-thirds. You are a, a Israelite for canon father, man. Alright? And it shows in your actions, man. It shows in your actions, man. It's no different than, you know, a few years back, you know, you had the whole Scary had an incident like this going on. I don't think these, I don't know who these guys are. That's another thing, too. It's a lot of Israelite groups out there. That's why the scripture says, Then shall you know who my chosen are. It's a lot of Israelite groups out there, but not every Israelite, Salakia, Salakia, kind of Salakia about that. It's a lot of Israelite groups out there that we don't even know about, man. Okay? But you're going to know who the chosen are because the chosen going to have 100% truth, going to have been giving you the 100% truth without failure. Being living examples of what a man of the Lord is supposed to be and should be and should be doing, okay? And, and they're going to be in a serious mindset, a serious mindset, all right? They're not going to be in a simple mindset, man, okay? The, uh, James 4 and 4, it says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Heavenly Father? Whoso there will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the most of, of the most high. Let's look at that in the blue letter, James 4 and 4. Okay. James 4 and 4. James 4 and 4. Right. It says, Ye adulterers. I'm sorry. I'm looking at an NLT. Ye adult, you adulterers, don't you realize that friendship with the world? makes you an enemy of the heavenly father i say again if you want to be a friend of the world you make yourself an enemy of the heavenly father man now let's, let's break that down in the incliner okay okay uh friendship with the world uh, of the world cosmos because you know you got a lot of jake talking about uh, that one dude said oh we are we bringing a nation back and all this the lord don't want the whole nation man the lord ain't about the whole nation of israel right now He's about the remnant, the elect. Okay? So that word cosmos goes back to a group, an uh, ordinate group. Uh, uh, um, right. It says uh, uh, an act, a harmonious arrangement or constitution, or order of government, an or ornament, declaration, i.e. arrangement of the stars, which that's who we are. Okay? It says um, the ungodly, it says the ungodly multitude, the whole mass of men alienated from the heavenly father and therefore hostile to the cause 
of the anointed of the Hamashiach, and that's 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 Israel, man. Two thirds of Israel, man. So you you trying to be, um, you trying to be uh, a a friend of the world, man. It's just gonna make you an enemy of Yahweh and you're gonna be taken out. John seventeen and six. It says, "I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world." Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou has given me for they are thine not every israelite is given to yahweh shai not every israelite is given to yahweh shai man only the elect all right and that's who yahweh shai prayed for he didn't pray for the world of israel even though his, his sacrifice is going to be uh, uh given unto these jakes when they come back into the kingdom because they're israelites so they definitely going to benefit from it but this is for the elect man all right he says, I pray for them. I pray not. I, I, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. And that word world there again is cosmos. The Lord didn't pray for the ungodly of our people, man. He didn't do that. Whether you are, you, you are a nigga that know you're an Israelite or you just a nigga that's in the world, man. You know? And these other nations, they think they got a piece of this. Man, this ain't even about y'all. Y'all not. Y'all don't even have to talk. Y'all don't even have to think about this because the, the world, the, even the Gentiles, they're in the same mindset too. Party, party, party. Then he want to throw up a prayer and think that, that it's going to be heard. You know? You see? Um, this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. You know what I'm saying? And a time to dance. So it ain't this. Is this a time to be dancing and doing a bump? No, it's not. The times that we're living in is is the most harsh and grievous times ever, man. 2023 is gonna be a tough year, a crazy year. But Lord willing, Yahweh Shai give us the spirit to endure all of this and make it through, man. Doing a big head bounce and shit. With a suit jacket on, man. You Jake is just through, man. Jake is just through, man. Crip walking and shit, man. You know? Hey, the Lord gonna get you niggas, man, for real. The Lord's gonna get you niggas. And it's gonna be it's gonna be swift, man. Okay. And I ain't wanna make this too long, but you know, I, I watched the other video. It really inspired me to do this lesson. So the Wadi Yaha Bashan Shah for putting in the spirit on that on Elder Mawaka Zagba for doing this. But not the Zagba for doing this and 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 Allow me to, uh, you know, put my two cents in, man. But Jake definitely don't know what time it is, man. So that, with that, I'm going to say shalom on to the next.